Hello, brothers and sisters. Uh, today I'd like to pose a question, and this should be obvious to any born-again Christian uh, who is born again by faith alone, on Christ alone, by God's grace alone. But it doesn't seem to be very apparent to everyone. So my question is, who or for whom did Jesus actually die? And does a man or a woman actually have the ability to choose whether they will serve God, whether they will uh, pursue God, whether they will draw near to God or not? Those are the two questions I pose today. And what does the Word of God say? Well, let's start with the choice idea. Uh, let's start with what David, a man who was uh, basically after God's own heart, according to God himself, what he had to say. Uh, and I'm going to Psalms 119, and if you, it's the longest psalm. And if you read that psalm, you'll understand that his law, his statutes, his testimonies, uh, his edicts, and his word, anytime it means his law, testimony, edicts, uh, statutes, uh, and uh, it's all about his word. It's all referring just different terms for his word. So what does is, what is David say uh, regarding this subject. Well, first off, he tells us in Psalms 119.9, uh, he says, Wherewithal shall shall a young man cleanse his way? And then he gives you the answer. He says, By taking heed there, thereto according to thy word. Uh, he also said a little bit further on in, in this same uh, in this same psalm, that the entrance of thy word giveth light. And that's very important. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when God, God has given us his word, and it's just logos word when it's just printed, but when it comes to the place where we are studying it, reading it, and we are truly open to uh, God's voice because we're in his word, and then it becomes rhema word. Now it's a living word. The, the word of God is alive and powerful, and it is sharper than any two-edged sword, uh, piercing and dividing asunder of uh, soul and spirit and joints and marrow, and it is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So when you read God's word, and if you stick with it uh, and not just dismiss uh, his testimonies, Eventually, his testimonies or his word begins to read you. But anyway, so this the psalmist says, Wherewith shall a, uh, shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. And a little bit further on in Psalms 119 and 119.30, what did David say about himself? Keep in mind, he was a man. Uh, he said, I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I hid uh, or have I laid before me? And then come to the conclusion, the very close to the conclusion, he reiterates this fact of choice. He says uh, in Psalms 119, uh, 112, he says, I have inclined mine heart. I have inclined my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always even unto the end. So then we go on to say, uh, he goes on to say, the entrance of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. So when you hear God's word, as long as you allow them to be internalized and you allow them to enter, it will give you light. It will give you understanding. And then you will be in a position where you can either believe it or not believe it. Uh, and then he concludes toward the very end of Psalms 119, in 119, 173, let, thy, let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. So twice now he says that he has chosen. He has chosen the truth, and he has chosen God's precepts. 
And he even tells a young man how to cleanse his way by taking heed unto according to thy word. So now who did Jesus really actually die for? Well, let's let's go to Psalms 53. And let's, let's just do a little bit of reading here before I have to uh, haul myself off to work. I don't got a lot of time, so this will be probably within 10 minutes. But it says here, Who hath believed our report? Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was put upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Not the iniquity of the elect. It doesn't say, and he and the Lord God laid on him the iniquity of the elect or the iniquity of the chosen from the foundation of the earth. But it says that all of us, like sheep, have gone astray. We have all turned, everyone, to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. That should settle it, folks. Jesus died for every sin and for all mankind. And he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. Now, not every man gets an opportunity to hear the gospel preached. That makes it easier because the revelation of God's word and the entrance of his word giveth light. It gives us understanding to the simple. Uh, but what about those people who are in places who have never heard the gospel? Well, God has also revealed himself in the things that he has made, even his eternal power in Godhead, so that man is without excuse. Uh, so even those men, he wrote, literally, he wrote the gospel message in the heavens, in the stars, so that they will fulfill their function according to Genesis, that they would give light upon the earth spiritual light upon the earth if people would discern the stars uh, through revelation of the spirit of god because our god is the spirit of revelation so even if people can't can't hear the gospel in their lifetime god has given them plenty of evidence of his existence so that they may inquire of him uh, and if they will it, it take that little uh desire within them to know what this is all about, God will reveal himself to that person. And it's still Jesus, it's still the word of God bringing light by the spirit of revelation to people out in the middle of a jungle who can never hear the gospel because they are isolated from the message uh, and coming in the, the, uh, the normal, regular way. But, uh, uh, Hearing the gospel makes it easier. It makes it easier for a man to receive that light that is the true light that take, that, that, that uh, lighteth every man that cometh into the world. But every man that cometh in the world is lit by that very light. And so God has shown himself unto them, even, even his eternal power in Godhead. Uh, so he died for the iniquity of us all. Not just some, not just the elect, not just the chosen, but for us all. And God does draw all men unto himself uh, in accordance with his word, whether it's the physical word being preached and then the Lord work through it, or in special cases, uh, he draws people 
by the spirit of uh, by his spirit which is a spirit of revelation uh, making wise the simple um, for all those who will receive him to them gave he the power to become the sons of god even to them that would believe on his name who were not born by the will of the flesh nor the will of man nor of blood but of god and god is the one that draws them god is the one that opens their eyes so that they can step in and become partakers of eternal life whosoever will let him come and drink of the waters of life freely freely whosoever will that means anyone and everyone that means the whole that means all jesus stands at the door and knocks and if any man will open that door then he will come in and sup with them and they with him and my father and i will make our abode with him jesus said anyway i'm going to leave it right there because i'm out of time but just remember jesus jesus died literally for the iniquity of us all and how shall a young man uh, cleanse his way and this goes for everyone by taking heed unto according to thy word i have chosen thy precepts therefore help me the psalmist said anyway i'm the biden rhyme thanks for listening to this little rant signing off